All right, so I messed up. Yeah, I did kind of mess up a little bit. Well, yes and no, these roads in the city are, they're huge. There's so many lanes in them. And that was the design that I was going for. And I was like, oh my God, they're gonna be so busy. They're gonna have so much traffic going in on them. But now that the city is kind of towards being complete, they're really quite empty and they look a little bit too big because yeah, there's nothing on it. So we're gonna downgrade those. We're gonna delete them, get rid of it and put something a little bit nicer in like this. So let's get into it. Oh, all right, you guys, I swear my computer hates me because I just recorded for like 30 minutes and then realized, oh, not recording. So I'm sorry about that. We, <laughs> I'm gonna have to try to recap everything that I've just done that I literally just said, and hopefully it all records this time. So anyway, sorry about that. But what I have done so far, the large boulevard roads that go along here. So there's these ones, duh, 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 and then there's also this one go goes all the way up there. And then there's also some, some smaller roads in here that I wanted to change. So I've kind of done a lot of it now. So just remember like a lot of these roads that were, that I'm doing now, they were all, they were all like these large ones with one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six lanes on either side. Then you can probably fit like five more. So that's, it's pretty huge. So I wanted to change that because like it's pretty empty looking. So let's go down here. Not everything is complete yet, but this area along here was well, it's kind of a commercial area. So I kept it with the whole commercial vibe going on. So I've added in lots of parking lots. Now this road here, you'll see this a few t a few times throughout what I'm doing today. So this is the, this one right here, Paris 1900 Avenue. Now I like this one because first of all, they can park on the sides like this little guy here. And there's also no lines, there's no actual, I don't know, just no lines at all. And it just makes it look really simple. And I like that there's all the little pebbles on there as well. It's just something different. I don't really use it that much. And it is it is smaller, so it's not done yet, everything, but just showing you guys. So we've got some commercial, we've got some shopping areas. We also got some offices in here, some larger ones. Now, if we go over to this part here, this is probably the most complete part that I've done so far. Um, so I'm using, again, a different road that I haven't really used so far so if i can just go in here and find it it is this one right here tram road number one 90 degree parking lots so i like this one because first of all it is different it's something that i have not used yet at all but i like it because first of all you have the parking you have two lanes on either side um you have the tram as well and you have this large thing in the middle the median but the only downside is that the cars and the trams do use the same lane. But since there's really not much traffic, I feel like that is okay. So we have basically the, the boulevard went from here all the way across to here. That's pretty huge, but look at how much of a difference it makes. We've got shops in here, we've got parking, we've got trams, we've got pedestrian places, we've got some sort of seating areas. It looks, it looks different, right? It looks good. Um, and then also this part here, I originally said, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make the tram line go around here as if it were a car, so going around the roundabout. So usually that's what I would do, but I wanted to try putting it straight through the middle, which is something you don't really, which I don't usually see. I think I've seen it in Europe before, but I never really paid much attention to it. But usually in Australia, we don't really see this because it's disconnected. So I'm just seeing how it goes through the middle of the roundabout. I don't know how the game will handle it. I, I really don't know. Um, but what I what I've also done is if I go into this one, I've reduced the amount of pedestrian crossing. So even though I'm using just the ordinary two lane road, the people if they want to go from either side to side, they have to walk all the way around. They can go either way. But I turned off all of the crossings in the middle. So like for example, these ones here, these ones like going up through here. Um, so they can still like go across here, here, here and across here, but I just didn't want them to go all the way through because before I actually enabled or disabled all of the pedestrian crossings, it was a nightmare. Like people were walking everywhere. It was just like you squashed an ant's nest and they're all coming out and going crazy. Like it was all over the place. Didn't like it. Don't want it. See ya. Next. 
Um, then this one right here, this road is the same as this one. I just have not added in everything. Now, um, also quickly, I'm using the, do, 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 finally using the roundabout builder. Thank you guys for always mentioning that I should get it. The weird thing is that I actually always had it, but I just never enabled it. And I, I think I didn't enable it because I was worried that it was going to cause more lag on my game. I don't think it is, I, so I think it's all right, so you just press Control o if you don't know how to open it, and then you're on your merry way. So, where am I up to? I am up to down here, like this. So I'm using this one right here, again the tram is going through, we'll see how that goes, don't know how it's going to go, I don't know. Um, but we have this one down here, we have um, parking, we have the lanes, we have the tram, we have cyclists. Um, bus stops, I believe. Is this a bus stop? What is that? I don't know. I, did, I literally just placed it down. Lots of parking because this is all office space over here. And yeah, so let's move on. I'm really annoyed that it wasn't recording all that time though. Like, ugh, are you kidding me? Like, come on. That was so annoying. <sighs> Why does my computer hate me, you guys? Why does it do this? Because it does that all the time. Okay, also just a quick, just want to make a little speech here. I know that these parking lots are um, kind of half disappeared. So the, I can't really get that unless I adjust this really high and then it brings up the actual tile. So just acknowledging that I know that they're not visible, but there's nothing I can really do about that. So parking lot here, parking lot here. We've got people walking down along here. So I think we just need to detail the roundabout. And I think that is it. And then I just want to see how the tram goes. Oh, also, parking lots here. But I want to see how the tram goes through here. And I want to see how the traffic adapts to the whole area. Also, oh yeah, just need to do that. Okay, almost done. Alright, so over here, since these buildings right here, they're pretty huge. Um, I don't really want to add in anything else to the bottom here besides just a few planters. Now, we'll place it along like that and we'll demolish every second. So, one, two, click, one, two, click, one, two, click, one, two, click. Good, it's even. And then we'll just plop down some small trees. So, if we, if we added in big trees, I think it would kind of overcrowd the whole look of it so let's go find this one right here we'll just do like every random one like this there we go good done that is good
Oh my god, you guys. Just looking at it like this. Now, I haven't adjusted all of the roundabout stuff yet, so you can see there's a little bit of a build-up. Looking at it like this, wow. This looks like a proper dense city now. So obviously, we still have the, the larger main roads, but I'm hoping, 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 hoping that any mass traffic that would have originally gone through these areas that I just built, maybe they'll now be more funneled onto the larger main roads, you know what I mean? So, we'll see. So, I have just added in some very basic roundabout stuff, um, just some quick little bushes and things like that. Uh, let's. I'm just going to let it play out for a little while. I want to see if any traffic builds up, I want to see how they deal with the tram going through the middle, and we'll check back in. You know what, you guys? There's honestly not really any issues. The like the only thing is the buses and like going around the roundabout here. Sometimes they have to wait for the pedestrians, but that's okay because there's really not much traffic here at all. And I would prefer they all use the public transport or just walk. And this is honestly, I'm living for it. I love how this has turned out. I am so pleased with this let me know should i do more of these types of road updates compared to the large boulevard that was here like you can see the amount of space it took up between the buildings on either side like which do you prefer a huge boulevard or something like this where you can fit in a whole lot more stuff and honestly like if there's not much traffic i'm gonna choose to do something like this with the parking lots you got the seating areas you got the new little cafes and shops and things like that i like i'm i'm pretty impressed by this not gonna lie and i was like should i do pedestrian bridges but since we, the, there's really not much traffic we don't really need to have pedestrian bridges in this area so i think that's basically it for this episode i wish i could have done a before and after shot i oh, that would have been so good to show the comparison but anyway it might wrap up the episode here thank you guys for watching and um if you like this video don't forget to give this video a like and I can do more of these types of things. I really enjoyed this, hope you guys did as well. Um, maybe you can try this in your own city, maybe it'll really make your city look really different like it has for mine. So catch you guys later.